Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a Tip Tuesday on styling wigs that aren't exactly perfect for you. I'm going to show you a couple of different styles that might have some things about them that aren't maybe our preference, but you still like the wig. And so how can we style them to make them a little bit of a better fit? If you're interested in seeing more, then stick around. All right, everyone. So whenever I do styling tips, I always want to give a disclaimer. I am not a styling expert. I struggle sometimes with styling wigs. I'm always hopeful that when I do a video that it will work out, but I can't guarantee it. So basically, I'm here to give you some general theories, some products that I really love to help with styling and, you know, just maybe do a little bit of examples. But this is really just a something that you're going to have to play with. The point and the goal of this video, though, is to help encourage you to not give up on a wig that isn't perfect for you. There is often something you can do with a wig when it comes to styling that will help mitigate some of the areas where it's imperfect in your opinion. So let's just get into this. Right now, the first wig that I am going to show you is Envy Jordan. This is a Envy fiber wig that uses um, 70% heat friendly synthetic and 30% human hair. I am really in love with the curls on this one. I think they're just so incredibly fabulous, but I am not in love with this part of it. I just struggle a little bit with how flat it is up on the top compared to all of this volume. So when I wear her, I usually do some sort of styling that gets some of this lifted because I like the way it looks this way a lot better than this way. So one of the first things I'm going to talk about are some of my favorite products that I highly recommend. I love this little container I got from the dollar store. You can get it anywhere. I'm not sure if this drawer will come out, so I'll just lift the whole thing up. But I have a ton of claw clips in here of all sorts of sizes. And I highly recommend that you start getting a collection of claw clips because they can help you do just about anything. And even the most challenged styling person can do these. Um, I sometimes struggle with the smaller ones because of my issues with my fingers. But other than that, I'm just going to grab a whole variety of them. I think that they will they will do wonders for you as you start to explore different ways to style your wigs. So recently I um, had styled Jordan in some basic twists and I've had many people ask me how I did it. I don't know that I'm going to be able to duplicate what I did. Sometimes with the front twist that I do, it's just any given day, how the hair is working and, and what looks good to me on that day. But let me just give you kind of a little bit of a sample of what I did. So basically, I just started taking sections of the wig and I started clipping it up in various places. So, and most of the time when I do a clip, I do like a twist and then I find places to clip it. And sometimes right where I first put it is great. And sometimes I have to unclip and reclip. It just depends on what I'm looking for and how it's cooperating. But it could not be more simple. And so you just keep on going. Now the struggle with Jordan is that this lace front is very shallow. So I cannot go very far on this one before you can see the trend line of transition. Grabbing, I had to get a diff another one that's like the ones I've already used. So something like this and then I can just play like if I don't want it quite so flat then I can like just kind of pull a little bit out maybe pull the clip forward a little bit 
if I'm trying to get a little bit more volume in the front. It just really depends. So I'm just going to keep on playing until I like, I kind of like the effect that it's giving. So that is truly it. And so again, I may, I'm not loving how flat this is. So what I might do is pull it out and grab some more hair. I grab some little pieces this first time and see if I can get just a little bit more lift right there. This side, again, you're just going to kind of feel it out, see what you want to do. See what's going to work best, and then you just go for it. So I'm going to lift that one up, and I'm going to go more this direction because I want just a little bit more lift. Now this side is a little bit more style challenged because of, you can see right there where that lace ends. So I struggle with this side just a little bit more than the other side when I'm styling it. So sometimes it takes just a little bit more messing around with it. I've got the really tiny clips and these can be really challenging for my poor fingers. Something like that. So like I said, I'm not loving this part because I think it just needs a little bit more lift than I was able to achieve with what I did. So let's just try grabbing a bigger hunk here because I want to be able to get it to poof out a little bit. And I think I might have just grabbed too little. It's too hard to do in my phone, so that's why I'm kind of looking behind my phone. Grab another clip here. That's a little bit poofier. So you get the idea though, just start playing with the clips, start doing twists, clip it here, clip it there. But the goal of this one is I don't love how curly and voluminous all of this is and how flat and straight that part is. So clipping it up really takes away that straight flatness and then it gives it a little bit more of a symmetrical look over here because I sort of clipped it over and then let some of the hair spill over it actually makes the curl seem like it starts higher than it actually does so there's the first wig the next one will be a straight one all right, so here we are with Raquel Welch Real Deal. This is in the color Shaded Biscuit. And this is one that shocked me that I loved. And I think part of it is that sometimes and this is more of a summer style for me and sometimes in the summer I just want lightweight simple short and this one fits the bill. Plus I love this color Shaded Biscuit. It is one of my favorite colors, which is surprising because it's blonde. So what have I done with Shaded Biscuit? So basically, sometimes I don't, just this whole overall style falls a little flat for me right here. And I like to get it up off my face. And then that gives it a lot more of a casual look, which is often what I'm going for with this one. Again, it's the same principle as what I just showed you. You can take really simple twists, with the claw clips and just start kind of tacking it up in different places and you can do multiple let me actually twist it this way opposite of the other one The rooting on this one for these kinds of styles is so phenomenal because it gives you that incredible contrast, which I personally love, but that's me because I am a brunette at heart. And then I just keep going until I like what I see. 
There's absolutely no rhyme or reason, no rules. And then if you wanted to take some peace out cream and mess it up, but that's literally all it takes. Something that I think is really cool, if you're on social media, if you're on Instagram, there are tons of hair uh, videos, really short clips where they take um, and do different types of hairstyles. And a lot of the time what they use is little um, rubber bands. I have actually a whole bunch of them. Let me show them to you. Now, caution, these could probably be really tough on synthetic wig fibers, but I do want to start playing with some of them. They look like this. I've got these bigger ones and then I have a whole, I just have these little plastic containers with them in it. And then I have this whole other one with really teeny ones, which I'm not even sure I can work with my fingers. Um, and I actually really want to play with this one with that and see if I can get some really fun sort of fake. So one last look at this sort of fake um, French twists on the side. So if you take something like this and you can take a little bit of hair and you twist it and then you grab some more. I don't even know how to show you guys this one. And then you kind of twist it around and then you, it's almost like a French braid or a French, yeah, French braid, but it's a twist. and you're just grabbing more hair down at the bottom each time you do it. And at some point you get a really cute little twist. And then you can take, look at that. I don't know if this is picking it up, but it's really cute in my mirror. So then at some point you can take a rubber band and you can put the rubber band around, then you can take a bobby pin and kind of pin it underneath the hair. I'm just gonna do this with a claw clip. And then cover it up and then you've got this really cute little twist. That was just a quick one. I would play with it a little bit more, make it a little more pronounced. The good thing about these claw clips is they're very gentle on the synthetic fibers. They don't really pull on them like ponytail holders would, but that is something that you can just play with. You can watch tutorials, but so if you've got a wig and it's just not doing it for you, don't just think you have to wear a wig just like it comes out of the box. Play with them. Claw clips, in my opinion, are the number one accessory that any wig wearer should have. They're very easy to use. You can do tons of different things with them and they're fairly gentle on the hair fibers. So that's another bonus. So that's it, you guys. That's all I wanted to show you. It's not anything complicated. It's really just to get those wheels turning in your head. Start thinking about how can I style my wigs? Don't give up though. You have a wig in the closet that you don't wear. It's not doing anyone any good there. So practice, try doing some different styles. On any given day, something different may catch your eye and you may like something that you haven't liked before or a certain style just works for what you're doing for the day. So just, just got to do it. Take one step and there you go. Next thing you know, you'll be a styling fool and you'll have a whole lot more fun with your wigs. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. If you do, uh, leave comments. All of that helps the YouTube algorithm so other people can find my video. Also, please share it on social media. I gotta tell you guys, I do this as a labor of love and it's a passion to help my wig sisters. A lot of the Facebook groups now do not allow me to share my videos in them because they consider it self-promotion. And I don't see it that way. I see it as just sharing helpful information. But if other people share them, that's a little different. So if you find a video that's helpful and you see a wig sister out there who has a question, please go ahead and share that video. It's the more people who see it, the more people who are going to benefit. So thank you so much, you guys. I'll talk to you soon.